Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Arnab, sir, are you able to hear? Good morning, madam. Is my audio? Yes, yes, yes. I'm able to hear. Are you yeah, able yes. to see and? Yes, sir. Uh, you are audible. Sir, so shall we the start? The video is coming fine, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. Sir. Yeah, ma'am. I'll just share my screens. All right. <clears throat> Is on bank roll for for startup and entrepreneurship by Mr. Yeah. Arnab Sarkar. Arnab Sarkar is currently senior manager, government business cell. Canara Bank Circle Office, MG Road Branch, Bengaluru. Arnab obtained his B.Tech IT from Del Mumbai Guri Government Engineering College in 2012. He worked for Ericsson Global in their automation team from 2012 till 2015. Also, his experience in Cognizant and IBM. 2015, he joined Canara Bank. So he shifted from industry to the banking sector. He has worked in retail, corporate, and MSME advances. The business cell has a book size of uh, rupees 220 crores. With the rupees 160 crore under advances, mainly into the MSME sector, unorganized. Startup funding, Stand Up India funding being done during his tenure in the Kumbalagodo branch. The branch was ranked number one pan India across all branches by the bank. He takes sessions on entrepreneurship for various colleges like Christ College and um, the Don Bosco Institute of Technology and Vivekananda Institute of Technology and many more. He also conducts sessions on financial management at top MNCs like Toyota, Bosch, Coca-Cola, and many more. Sir, thank you for accepting our invitation, and I welcome you to this session, sir, and I request you to take over the session. Arnab, sir, kindly take over the seat. Oh, if my screen is visible to everyone. Ah, yes, sir. So share the screen, sir. Is my screen visible to... Sir, yes, uh, Your I screen is not this. visible, sir. PPT, we are not able to see.
just a second, ma'am. I think I'm having some issues with the sharing. I'll just try to reconnect. Oh, yes. Sir. Yeah. Is it audible now? Uh, is it visible now? No, sir. No, no. no sir. It is not visible. No, no, it is now. No, no, it is happening. Madam, is it visible? Yes, sir. Now? It is visible, sir. You can make it full screen. Now it's a full screen. Can you please uh, confirm me? Uh, I think there is a delay. Let me. Now, sir, it is not full screen. I think there is a delay. Uh... Yeah. All right. So, very good morning to all and all present here in this. webinar and students who would be listening to me later on on the recorded version myself arnab sarkar working as senior manager in canara bank bangalore i am hailing from a place called kuch bihar in west bengal and then since 2015 i have been working in bangalore on the outskirts as well as in the city since joining the bank i have an experience of working in the advanced sector mainly the asset quality and i have been handling lot of entrepreneurs startup seeing them rise from the initial stage to a growth stage i am very thankful to the vkit management to give me this opportunity to share my experience as well as share the importance of banks in the development of the entrepreneur and the startup this is my third webinar along with vkit and uh, i i've always inspired i'm been always inspired by the vkit team by the work and the reciprocate so i hope now the screens are visible and it's in a full screen mode there might be a little bit of delay but i would like to cover up that with my words yes sir it is clear sir visible sir all right madam so the agenda is we're going to talk about entrepreneurship and startup then we're going to discuss about the role that the bank pay plays on the development then i'm going to take you a walk through the opportunities available and i'm also going to discuss about the ease followed by a question answer series any students who are having questions 
can ask me during that question answer series madam has given a very good introduction about me so i am available in this three social medias in twitter as well as instagram and my gmail id is mentioned on your screens if you have any queries you can get back to me i have an experience of working in cognizant as well as in the automation team and research and development team of ericsson where i spent two and a half glorious years of my career right now working for a public sector bank to explore the financial opportunities in the country before i start with my agenda i would like to discuss about few ice breaking facts as you can see on your screen there are 61400 recognized startup as we speak so one minute sir your screen it is not moving slides are not moving sir it is All in right the first now. slide i'll just i'll just see that ah oh, yes yes now it is it went to ice breaking facts yeah am i on the ice breaking facts yes sir yes sir all right so as i was discussing we have 61400 recognized startups in india as per the data by ministry of commerce and the number keeps on growing there were 14000 startups which were registered during the previous financial year even during the covid times which has a 23% increase on the why why growth the registered startups at least one startup has been registered in the 555 degree districts that india has so india right now we are the third largest startup ecosystem in the world with four unicorns the companies whose valuation has crossed 1 billion so you can imagine the capacity and the opportunity that indian companies and indian startups has let's talk about a few more sector wise ice breaking facts the aerospace sector where our government had a big push for make in india had registered 100 and right now is ha having 101 startups 47 out of them have been registered in during the financial year 2022 if you compare city wise startups which are registered delhi heads it with 5000 whereas we are not behind bengaluru has 4514 startups that was registered during the year 2022 so you can see the opportunity that bangalore to provide it's the city of bangalore which is also known as the silk valleys the fund raised an amazing figure 3.5 billion university has been raised during the last financial year and 90000 crores has been raised to the market through the initial public offerings by the startups so you can see students there is a huge opportunity in the startups and entrepreneurship today being a pathway of india being a country of not job seekers but job creators it's the correct time where things are in place and where policies are in place to ensure that our country goes ahead and more startups have been formed in the country there are few startups whose name have been mentioned successful startups in india like urban company by juice ptm razor pay upgrad one ng big basket they have done amazingly well and one of the kings in the world of startup is none other than elon musk you can see the number of companies that he has it's just 2021 edition that i have shown in the screen 2022 the numbers have increased now he is also trying to take twitter into his basket of accounts so they are all successful startups yes they had struggled during the initial days but now they are into a very comfortable position and they are showing the world the new way across before the definition madam is my screen visible the startup screen Uh, no sir it is still in ice ice breaking in fact right. i think i think uh, every, uh, no, yes, every yes, time i have to yes. move out and uh, get it done all right uh -huh. i'll just show the previous uh, screen that i had uh, shown so this was the screen i was talking about the successful startups in india and uh, elon musk and his companies then moving ahead we go up to the agenda topics so 
everybody over here will know that the term startup refers to a company in the first stage of operations startups are founded by one or more entrepreneurs who want to develop a product or service for which they believe there is a demand basically startup is a company formed because of a problem to resolve that problem few people come together or a single person takes a lead and forms a company to deliver a solution few key points about startup a startup company is that which is in a very initial stage of their business founders normally finance their startup so normally you won't find any startup getting funds from everyone else it is the founders who fund their own company or they take money from their own family friends venture capitalists there are few people who fund them in return the demand profits startup must also consider where they will do well in business and they will have a legal structure also startup come up with a very high risk a failure is a very high possibility which a startup underwents but during from each failure they learn and they revamp so there are a lot of startups lot of case studies wherein the startup might have failed on the first go whereas on the coming days or in the subsequent years they have eventually done well there are various stages on entrepreneurship the first is the identification and the evaluation stage followed by the business plans so in uh, identification and evaluation the problem as i told you about the entrepreneurship had been evaluated they analyze the business opportunity available determine the resources and they gauge the opportunities available in this particular field there are a lot of market needs a lot of reasons for which a startup forms the size local market assessment is been done locally as well as the international market they have patented and they always ensure their rights so that they have been continued the next step comes for a business plan so few people as i told come together plan the process predict the future analyze about the project and form a venture called a startup venture finance production operation organization and then coming to the market research analysis experimentation and development of the better business plan these are the stages involved in the business plan then comes the four most important thing the resource along with a good idea founded with with 5m degree 5m means money material manpower machine and methods then they create the business a legal organization has been formed they get themselves registered and then rights duties and liabilities are been shared and the tax registrations like in india it's called gst have been done coming into the role of bank the main topic of mine for the entrepreneurship development so as this slide suggest there are six important pillars for the development of the the developmental reasons or the reasons play the roles played by the bank for the development of entrepreneurship the first and the foremost reasons as you all know bank plays is safeguarding our assets the statutory rules so bank has got its own process its own systems its own asset management policies wherein all our assets especially money our jewelry or our other assets which needs to be ensured with and which needs to be safeguarded with the bank are being safeguarded and advanced board so this is the statutory role that the bank plays the next important role that the bank plays for the overall development of the nation as well as any geographical locality is the financing rules through its system transfer of funds management of funds giving loans financing to the required individual or the required unit they ensure that proper fund management and proper fund availability is there in the market at all ways so there is never a scarcity of fund there is never a, a time when there the market the unit gets stopped by due to the requirement of funds so they pump they are the ones through which government as well as the normal public investors invest money onto various business units the third most important role that the bank plays is business investment of 
promotion rules. So there are a lot of promotion rules which bank plays. They do a lot of investment planning for various institutes, for various units. Let's say a startup has got a very good work order. Through the work order, they get a very good profit. That profit, banks helps them to invest in a proper way to gain some returns. Let's say a startup is a three or four year old startup. They want to float their employees' provident fund or let's say some kind of funds which want to help the employees, at least the founders, after a period of time to get a good dividend. So those roles are being played by the bank. The fourth important pillar which a bank plays is an advisory guarantee consultancy role, especially entrepreneur education. In this particular pillar, a bank advises, a bank gives advice for the growth of the entrepreneur. There are various models in which the entrepreneurs work. One of the most successful model is the agile model. In this agile model, over a period of time, they review their own performance. During that, they find whether there is any lacuna or there is any lack in any of the field. This is a time where the banks come into picture. The banks give various advices. The banks give various guarantees. They do a lot of consultancy market research on their behalf and guide them as to how to grow, how the market is moving, how to gain more confidence in the market. For example, there are a lot of units which have been financed by our bank, as well as a lot of banks in India. During the COVID period, lot, as you know, there was a lot of turmoil. 25 to 30% 30, 30 companies registered in GST had registered, had recorded nil GST returns during the COVID 36 months. Whereas, there are various companies who grew from the scratch again few companies who lost their marketplace were been guided well were been always consulted with the banks with along with the consultancy of the banks they gained the momentum the banks guided them which fields to invest what to expand how to make more impactful with their existing products how to invest in a proper sector or how to cut down their expenses how to come together one of the most important roles which the bankers consultancy played was amalgamation roles also they had a lot of people come together joint under joint venture or amalgamation facilities and explore to get more market research the fifth most important role played by the bank is a good payment system as you know today we are entering into the world of blockchains. Prior to blockchains, the fund management, the fund transfers was, is also in place. Banks ensure that the money reaches to the end user at a very short time and a very convenient time. So there is no lacuna, there is no lack from any of the side. So this particular thing of a very good payment system has been ensured by the bank. Herein, Bank helps the customers, the bank helps the entrepreneurs to fulfill the demand or set a deal set in a very short notice. And the fifth and the most important thing is the bank helps the money and the assets of the customers to be on a very safer state. So the entrepreneurs and can sleep in peace about their money. Now I would like to discuss about the finance option. <clears throat> Forming a startup is very easy. Collecting funds, little difficult. Yes, they can collect a lot of funds from their own family. Let's say crowdfunding, their friends, relatives. But everything doesn't come out free. There is a very high risk in the startups. Due to the high risk, it attains to a lot of higher interest rate also. Banks and other financial institutes, they are very cautious about funding the startups and entrepreneurs. They don't fund them very easily. Used to. This is the story which I am seeing five years back. They were very, they were having a very bad lacuna 
about financing the startups. Whereas things have changed now. Government of India, Ministry of MSME, Ministry of Finance has come out with a lot of plan to ensure that the money reaches the startups at a very right time. Because if it is in the right time, then the startup loses its importance. So I'm going to discuss about various financial options available for the startups. The first option that is available are the incubation cells. VKAT also has a cell where in the college there are various institutes like HEFA, which is a joint venture between our bank and the uh, Ministry of HRD, wherein we fund a lot of projects which have been selected by a lot of universities. So incubation cells encourages people, especially students, during the startup phase. So let's say a few students, a group of students who come together to form a unit or a company and have a solution, particular product solution, which can be saleable in the, or marketable in the market. They come together to form a company and which has a proper business case. So the college, through various financial institutions and various and people, funds that particular project so that the students complete it, give them marketing support so that they can see that particular product, nurture them for ensuring that that particular startup grows well. And then followed by a kind of backbone support for a couple of initial years so that they prosper in their work. This kind of incubation cell has been adopted in major universities in India. And most of the accredited universities have incubation cells, which are really doing good today in the aerospace sector, in manufacturing sector, in automobile sector, there are a lot of startups which have done excellent over here. And most importantly, they were financed and they were held by the incubation cell. The next major thing which I want to discuss is about the angel investors and venture capital. So venture capitalists and angel investors are nothing else but private equity finance company. So they will have a lot of money under with them. And they will see the use case. Startups needs to go there and present a use case. And on seeing the use case, they will project and they will have, based on their projections, they will decide upon the profit that they can earn from this particular startup or this particular unit. But this involves a higher cost. Money getting, or let's say, Getting an equity support from them is a very easy thing, but they will have their own terms and conditions. They will invest in the equity, expecting a very high returns as well as a share of profit or a share of company, uh, eventually, whatever way they close the deal. But they will always have their own tendency. Yes, this money will be available without any collateral. By collateral, I mean to say you need not pledge your property let's say mortgage your property, give your gold or any other things, fix a deposit or any other things cannot, shouldn't be given to them. They will give it to you without any security or without any obligation. But their expectation will be on a very high side. The third and one of the most important pillars which I was been discussing in, during my last slide is funding through bank and financial institutions. Government of India, as I told you, has taken several steps. One of the major steps for startup funding is Mudra, where a loan up to 10 lakhs has been available. Again, Mudra has got three categories. I'll be discussing in my uh, scheme called Stand Up India. In buying machine or taking care of the or any other operating expenses like electricity, rent and other things. And individual banks have got their own startup schemes and individual banks have also got their own schemes which they execute. So, to cut short, there are a lot of incubation cells available across the universities in India. 
Hello, sir. Your uh, PPT is not uh, yes, sir. moving, sir. It's not moving, sir. It is still in finance. Oh, which slide is yeah. in right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have not moved, ma'am. It is. I am in the finance uh, slide on till now. Is it finance, uh, bank finance? Oh, yes, sir. Right now? Yes, sir. All right, all right, all right. All right. I think every time I do, I need to move out and then uh, select the full screen. So can I start? <laughs> Madam, am I audible? Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So sorry for the interruption. So as I was discussing about the mudra, so mudra has got again three slabs. Shishu loans up to 50,000. Kishore loans from 50,000 to 5 lakh. Tarun loan from 5 lakh to 10 lakhs. So all of these options are available without any security. So government of India to ensure that funds reaches to the bottom level for ensuring they start, start their business or let's say they grow their business have given this particular scheme opportunity available with all the banks and financial institutions in India. Government of India also gives 75% security of this particular loans. So if by chance you are not able to repay back the loan to government of India, uh, to the banks, government of India has set up a credit guarantee trust, which is going to take care of the loan, against which every year you need to give an annual guarantee fee. So let's say by giving, the annual guarantee fee varies from 1.8% to 2.2% of your entire loan. So let's say you want a financial support of 10 lakhs to buy a machine. You are already having a very good idea of uh, producing a nut or bolt or a specialized artificial intelligent robot or let's say any of the units. You have a good idea. And you have set up a small prototype also. You're, if you're a student, your professors will be encouraging you. If you, have, if you are a pass out, you join any incubation cell or let's say you are in a community wherein you get a very good response for this particular solution. And then you think of producing and you know, delivering a lot of such nuts to let's say a company called X. So company X says, fine enough, I'm going to procure this particular material from you, but I need 1000 pieces per month. To, de to deliver this 1000 pieces per month, you need a machine of let's say 12 lakh. From your family, friends, everyone, you could collect two lakhs. Now you go to a bank and you submit your proposal for a term loan, the loan for buying, purchasing a machinery of 10 lakhs. So under this scheme, the bank can finance you. And tomorrow, if let's say after five, six months, the XYZ company denies your loan and you're unable to repay it, 75% of your repayment of the loan will be taken care of the government. The next important scheme which government of India has been has provided for the startup is the Stand Up India scheme. This is for women entrepreneurs or SCST categories. So 51% of the stake should be owned by a woman entrepreneur or belonging from SCST category. So what happens over here? This is this particular scheme has been given to promote the woman entrepreneurship in India, as well as promoting people from the uh, from the backward classes, to encourage them to come up and start entrepreneurship. Herein, loans from ten lakh rupees, so till ten lakh mudra covers loans from ten lakh till one crore is been provided under the Standard India scheme. Here also, government of India provides a guarantee, so that if you are unable to pay back the loans that have been taken, that will be taken care of by the government of India. And finally are the normal loans. So the normal working capital, as I was talking about normal operating expenses and other things, normal working capital will be for the raw material requirement or operating expenses, electricity, rent, any other things will be taken care of by the banks. 
and correspondingly for purchase of machineries or construction of a plant will be taken care of by the plant, normal term loan that is been given by any of the banks so these three are the major pillars wherein the banks will be financing to the entrepreneurs but the crux of the matter is that it's not easy to get bank finance if i come back to my this slide and talk about the successful startups most of them went in with their own family support if not family support they went ahead with the angel investors or capital investors or venture capital investors why it is so difficult to get a bank finance because as you know the banking structure of india usually mortgage loans are preferred loans over here in india collateral free loans are very difficult to get for resolving all these issues government of india had started a loan under the scheme of cgt nsc credit guarantee trust had been formed to ensure that loans up to 2 crores had been given to companies established as well as startups yes, sir so it has gone to successful startup yeah, yeah, yes ma'am yes ma'am i was just discussing about it only okay sir yeah so as i was discussing that uh, uh, so the collateral uh, collateral based loans are having a lot of importance in india collateral free loans are very difficult to get this was the situation till 2016 but since 2016 things have changed with the push for make in india with the push for invest in india with the push for creating more and more entrepreneurs in india things have changed now loans up to 2 crores have been available under cgt msc where in government of india gives a 75% guarantee to whatever happens to the uh, company if it fails so such being the case now it is very right time for the startups to start so as you can see in the ice breaking slide also that india is the third largest startup ecosystem in the world and 14000 people have registered during the last financial year and we must take it into account that we had lost 3/4 of the year because of covid and out of 14000 90% of these companies are running successfully today the 10% which are not running successfully are ensuring themselves that they will run successfully in the coming years and sitting in a city of bangalore which has been the prime epicenter we should say it as an we should tell it as an epicenter for creating startups you talk about any established company or any established startup it will have its mark in bangalore or it would have started in bangalore at any point in time so there is a huge opportunity available and the banks as discussed plays a very important role in the creation of startup or development of a startup banks barring this five uh barring this six important pillars plays a very developmental a very developmental role in the entrepreneurship or the startup development bank banks play a role like a friend bank is always like a friend to a startup once you get engaged to a bank it's like and it continues for the development during the hard times also bank plays a very crucial role in the revival of the startup they also search for investors they also search for pumping in some more funds into it and a lot of things to ensure a lot of consultancy services also to ensure that the startup stands where they are and the development continues without any bar so with this i have come to the end of my uh, presentation i as i shared i want this to be a little interactive so we would like to open this particular <clears throat> 
particular forum for question and answers i would also request the faculties to also ask if they have any kind of queries with respect to not only entrepreneur and startup funding for the from the banks or the development roles but in respect to any thing about the banking sector i would be very happy to address their issues and i would also like to thank the management to give me this particular opportunity if a student is had just completed the degree and he has got an innovative idea he wants to have his own startup uh, so will the bank give them the funding or should he have started already and then ask for funding thank you madam for the question so it's always better that if a student has a very good idea to register his idea first to get a patent of it or register it because as you know in india ideas are stolen one the other part of it which your query was there it's always better to register a company start the operations and then come for a funding under prime minister employment generation program or mudra there are opportunities where from scratch funding has been done but again if from day one there is a liability on his head i mean a loan on his head it will be very difficult for him to uh, prosper fact prosper ahead so it's always advisable that he or she if he has an if they have an idea to get a patent after uh, that particular idea to get it registered and then move ahead register a company take all the li required licenses as much as possible and then approach a bank or a financial institute for a loan any questions from the participant and you can ask any questions from participants and i think there are no questions my email can be shared so if there is any question they can get back to me later on also no issues in that yeah yes sir. sure sir we'll do that sir so now we will come to the end of sure. the session sure 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 okay. thank you sir for uh, guiding all of us on how to get the financial assistance from banking sector so thank you very much sir with your busy schedule you have uh, agreed and uh, you have really uh, given a very good insight about this funding uh, specifically for the startup and entrepreneurs thank you very much sir thank you so much for this opportunity ma'am year on year uh, vkit and myself my my relationship has been strengthening and uh, vkit's growth i can uh, see from outside also how nicely the growth is there with the guidance of principal and uh, especially dv chandrashekhar sir i've been seeing him since last i know him since last 3 years and i mean uh, very i'm very amazed to see the kind of growth that you have registered and the kind of faculty you have shaila madam thank you so much and uh, i uh, expect to come up with something new next financial year also sir yes, you are welcome sir uh, for, uh, also we want to do it in house so we are uh, planning it offline in uh, some programs so we welcome you again sir for the, those sure, programs ma'am sure 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 thank you ma'am okay sir thank you sir thank you arnab sakar i am chandra sekar sir thank you thank sir thank you very much thank you thank you very much anyway you and us a very nice uh, presentation sir thank you thank you madam so i hope uh, today's session was uh, useful to all the participants i thank all the uh, participants for your patience listening so the feedback uh, form will be put in the chat box you can uh, fill the feedback form
So I posted it in the chat box. You can uh, fill it. And the e-certificate will be sent to your mail ID uh, by this Saturday. So kindly fill the correct uh, email ID. Kindly fill the feedback form, which is put in the chat box.